oh, look who, who's next is Melania Trump. No, it's not really, but it's someone who plays her on the late night shows and she's hysterical. Hi, Laura. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. You know, hanging in there day by day. Yeah. What have you been doing? I um, have been taking care of my child who's three years old. Yes, that's not easy. Some things. So now all of a sudden there's mommy and daddy school. Right. Basically just me being like, here's the TV. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing with my kid. You want your iPad? Here you go. And ever I go on Instagram and people are like, today we built a castle out of toilet paper. And then we read and I'm like, cool. I did not. Yeah, I didn't do that either. Yeah. When they asked me to do the show, I said, well, finally a reason to take a shower, you yeah. know? Yes, I showered just before this and it was my first one. Yeah, I understand. Now you did an amazing thing on your Twitter, Instagram. You told people, tell tell everybody what you did. It was, I thought it was so beautiful, Laura. Thanks, Rosie. So my mom's a voice teacher and she was, when I got home, we're in New Jersey with my parents. And when we got home, she was saying that all of her students, all of the kids are so disappointed that they're not able to do their high school musicals. Right. So I thought, you know what? Let me let me just make a little video for them on Instagram and Twitter, letting them know that if they want to send me the videos, they want to tag me, I want to watch them. And I had no idea it was going to turn into this beautiful thing that it's become. The hashtag is Sunshine Songs. And um, you can go you know, on Twitter and Instagram and watch them all. These kids are so talented. And I just love the fact that they are getting a platform to perform for people when they were so disappointed you know I know for me like my musical was my high school musical was a salve you know it was the yes, thing that I totally do all year it was the only place where I felt seen and and like accepted so I think to take that away from from kids is really hard especially because this is an anxiety producing time you know right so and this is a this is a generation of kids that self identifies as more anxious than any previous generation. So to me, it just felt really important that I provide some sort of audience for them so that they yeah. know. And, and if you want to lift your spirits and you want to get chills all over, go to that hashtag and just I just one day watched them all. Are you they know? so good? I know. Yeah, it's so so good. The video's been seen three point seven million times, wow. and we have over two thousand videos on on a. Twitter alone. So, so tell me, how did you get to be asked to play Melania? How did it start? So weird. So I was on the Colbert show, wow. um, just promoting She Loves Me. And um, he he was like, you look like Melania Trump, which I don't think I do in real life. No, I don't think you do either. Yeah. And then he put us side by side. And actually, there was a picture where it was kind of, you could sort of see it. And then I just did the face and all of a sudden it was there. Right. And then I never thought of it again. And then a few months later, it was the Republican National Convention and she had her famously plagiarized Michelle Obama speech. Right. And I woke up to like a hundred email text messages and phone calls from the Colbert show being like, do you want to try and whip together an impression? And we yeah. did it live. It was a live show. So we did it live and like, I had like five hours to figure it out. Well, you're so funny. I've seen you at all the Broadway bears and the Broadway gypsy robe and the, all of those performance things that the Broadway community does. And you're always hysterical in all of them. You Thanks. crack me up, Laura. You really do. Thanks, that means a lot coming from you. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. How are you getting through watching TV? Are you binging? Are you? No, I'm really, I mean, I joke that I like gave my kid an iPad, but really I'm just trying to focus as much time on my daughter as I can. Um, and honestly, watching these watching these videos and then trying to be of service. I'm doing a lot of research into how best I can help in my community. And I'm trying to mobilize people through my social media platform to be helpful in that way as well. I'm working on a project that's actually gonna come out April 10th with all of the proceeds going to Food Core, which helps um, feed kids who rely on school for the majority of their meals. Right. So I, I'm just really trying to, activism is a big part of my life in general. Yeah. Uh, that's how I sort of, cope with the world and it's the only way I know how to deal with this stress yeah um, and, and just cookies yeah <laughs> I don't believe me. one day I, last week I ordered or two weeks ago uh, on Amazon what I thought was four packs of sugar cookies and today they arrived and it was four boxes of I sugar. mean honestly great 
Party, exactly. That's what we were yeah. doing now. Well, honey, thank you for being here. Support the Actors Fund like you always do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, thanks for thanks for being our um, guest here. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, Laura. Take care of yourself. Bye.